ranking every championship club's away fans in today's video please let me know if you think the content is going well so far please let me know any feedback down below what you want me to say whatever it is and vlogs are going to be starting in a few weeks obviously when the season begins i'm going to be there every week recording whatever it may be it's going up on youtube so yeah be ready and when i say be ready like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos but yeah we'll literally just get straight into things right we're going to start off with blackburn initially very good the reason i'm putting them in very good obviously ewood park sometimes it's lacking due to capacity and stuff like that but away from home blackburn are very good very noisy like ridiculously noisy mainly high numbers um and yeah just a cracking set of fans away from home that is i mean at home it is sometimes bouncing but um not all the time blackburn i'm inclined to put in decent i love um at home i think it's one of the best atmospheres in the championship and um, that one stand comes to mind and they always or at least most of the time out sing their away fans so that's something to shout about but away from home it's it's good don't get me wrong i just think there is better clubs millwall i'm uh, i was gonna put in bad but i'll stick to decent only reason i was saying bad is because they don't actually take many numbers but they are very very loud and they have some cracking chance so we'll stick them in decent swansea decent um numbers lacking a little bit maybe not the noisiest bunch um but no a good following i would say uh, above average uh, is what we'll go we'll go for with that one bristol city very good yeah bristol city are better than these three and um, not as good as blackburn but i would say cracking set of fans very noisy high numbers um, and genuinely bristol fan generally bristol fans um bristol rovers bristol city they are a decent bunch yeah can't really jip them can't follow them um watford bad watford for me right and i know i'm basing it a little bit off prem which is somewhat biased they don't really take a lot of numbers they're not very noisy and sometimes they don't chant and i have seen them sitting in one game i can't recall which one but sitting down on a weed is is an automatic demotion uh to the bad playlist um my apologies but no i am maybe being a bit unfair and what for fans please let me know in the comments if i am being too harsh here wigan bad i was even going to stretch to decent because at home obviously it's horrendous we all know but away from home they're not actually the worst of fans i just don't think they take that many numbers and i don't think they're on par with these lot rotherham decent as much as um a home support isn't the best and a we support wasn't the best in total last year i'm basing this off when they came to the salt it was unreal they took i think four five thousand maybe three but they took a few thousand don't get me wrong and I know it was a big game, one of the last of the season, but no, I cannot fault Rotherham for away fans personally. Coventry Elite, genuinely top three in the league. At home, maybe it's a different story, but away from home, these lot are mental. Like, genuinely won't shut up. Um, that's how good they are. So, yeah, Coventry fans, as much as I don't like yous, um, yous have Kraken fans. Sunderland what's that well like realistically what's it say sell out every away day thousands that is we're up the furthest up north and we still sell out like every single game basically um yeah there's not much to say like come on we are we don't shut up either really and we have like some of the best limbs but maybe someone's got an argument in the comments as why we shouldn't be up there but we should speaking of teams that should be up there middlesbrough yeah no I, I, these lot are cracking like genuinely red faction very very good fans i wouldn't say they're on our level but no um ten thousand or something to old trafford it's unbelievable these lot are i would say top three this is the top three away fans i would argue in the championship so yeah cracking clubs chef united are up there as well what's that see sheffield clubs are always immense and sheffield united are no exception to that they are brilliant away from home uh, another club that just won't shut up so i'm excited to see all these clubs at the sol obviously i'm excited to see us at the sol but you know uh cov middlesbrough and sheffield united um please bring thousands of fans i would like to see a cracking atmosphere west brom very good as well i don't think they're on the level of these clubs but um, no, Midlands fans usually are exceptional and um, West Brom are included in that one. Cracking set of fans, can't really jip them. 
Cardiff, I'm going in very good. I do apologise to Swansea fans. My hands are up here. Cardiff have a better away following. Apologies. Um, but no, Cardiff fans, very, very good indeed. QBR, bad. QBR don't take numbers. And at home at Loftus Road, I think it's quite a good atmosphere. But away from home, yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not the best, I'll be honest. But you aren't awful, so at least you've got that going for you. Um, Preston is decent. I don't think Preston have that bad of fans. People will make them out to seem like awful, but I don't think they're that bad. I'm going to put them in decent because if I put Rotherham and Swansea in that in here, I think they're on that level. But no, maybe step it up a little bit for next year. Yeah, Birmingham are elite. Their fan base is quality. There's not really too much to say, but no, from what they like, from where they've been, like in the Prem, and like they used to be like a top side club, and and they still have like a very high following in that. No, I can't jip Birmingham at all. So yeah, they're definitely elite. Reddin's not. Nah, Reddin's not it. Like, I don't know though. That's a thing because. I've only watched a few Reading games and obviously the fans weren't great, but like maybe there's been games where they've had thousands of away fans, but not in my recollection, so they are going in very bad and we'll just stick another team in very bad for the for the crack. Hull are awful. <laughs> like their fans are shocking. And I'm thinking one of my reasonings for them having bad fans is they are a rugby town, technically. I think rugby is their main sport. So maybe the football fans just don't care. Um I don't know what it is, but nah, they're not great, like if I've put Wigan above them, you know something's wrong with these two clubs uh, away from home. So I do apologise for that. But I'm being a bit harsh here because I haven't watched the most games. It's not like I'm a loyal Hull like watcher. Um, I've watched a few and it wasn't uh, anything to shout about. Um, Huddersfield. I'd say Huddersfield have decent fans. Like At home it's unbelievable. Um, I'm a little bit guessing away from home. But if, go, if a home support is anything to base it off... Um, and I know it's not. Um, I'm just going to guess they are very good fans. I've seen a few, but I haven't seen enough to make a judgment. So please let me know um, other fans of Huddersfield are that good. But I, I think they are. Luton Town, very good. Now, I know he's thinking, what's he doing? But I think Luton Town have immense fans. Like They're always bouncing. I've seen clips from them like when they were back in the lower leagues and it was unbelievable. I've seen them when they were in the championship. I've seen them when they were in non-league and it was unbelievable. So yeah, these lot are like some else, some very loyal fans um, out here at Luton. Burnley, I'm going to put in decent. I don't think Burnley have the worst of fans. Uh, and speaking of decent, Norwich, because I don't think they have that bad fans. Like From what I've seen, clips at Wembley. Um, the Prem, for me, isn't something I can base this off because these three clubs... I've had an awful season and it's like of course the fans maybe aren't going to travel and pay the extra money because it is in the Prem to go see the team lose but from what I've seen when they were back in the championship which realistically wasn't that long ago they're not exactly Prem clubs um, they aren't awful and they are like good and something to at least like have a word about like at least there's something to talk about there um, Stoke City One of these two, we'll stick them in very good. I think Stoke City have very good fans. Um, Here Delilah comes to mind. But no, just in general, Stoke City have cracking fans. Very, very loud. Like, I think they broke the decimal um, like record when they were in the Prem. But no, there's, there is definitely something to talk about when it comes to Stoke, Stoke City's fans. Uh, and I think they are very good i'm still thinking about putting them in elite but anyway we'll quickly rank the elite category um and i'm gonna do it like this i think i actually think that's spot on right there we'll do the very good category i'm gonna put stoke city first i'm gonna put cardiff last i'm gonna do it like that i think yeah and we'll leave the rest because i don't really think it matters so yeah that's going to be the video please let me know if i got anything wrong please let me know if i'm an idiot whatever it may be just comment it um but yeah thanks guys for watching and basically have a fantastic day